excited to share a practice with you today that brings yoga and gentle movement as a way to help you sleep a little bit better. You'll start on your hands and knees and you'll find it helpful to have a slippery surface underneath your body today. I've taken a blanket and set it up on top of a sticky mat and I think you'll find that works best. If you happen to have carpet, then you may not need the sticky mat at all. If you don't have a long blanket, then a beach towel oftentimes works well. Slowly set up in table pose, bringing hands under shoulders and knees under hips. Inhale, arc your belly towards the floor in a back bend. Exhale, curl your spine towards the ceiling, rounding chin to chest, tailbone towards the earth. Inhale, return to the back bend shape, looking up towards the sky. Exhale, curl chin to chest, rounding the back body. Continue this movement pattern a few more times, inviting your body to move on the waves of your breath. Exhale to child's pose, bringing hips to heels, forehead towards the earth. Inhale, lift your torso, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hinge back to the earth, fold in child's pose. Inhale, lift away from the earth, reach for the sky. Exhale, fold towards the earth, curling chin to chest, ribs towards belly and thighs. If possible, invite your movement to follow the breath by beginning your breath a few seconds before your movement begins. At the top of your inhale, you'll linger there by breathing without yet moving. And at the bottom of your exhale, you'll linger there by beginning the inhale before the movement begins. And try that a few times. When reaching up towards the ceiling, you can experiment with back bending, upper back, chest, and spine a little bit towards the wall behind you. If your neck is feeling tender or sore, look forward. Come up into a kneeling position, hands to hips, and step your right foot forward for a low lunge. Take your hands either on your front thigh or on either side of your front foot. Slowly shift your front knee forward into the lunge and gradually straightening the front leg as you move the hips behind you. As you move forward and back here, shifting between a low lunge and a runner's lunge or a half splits hamstring stretch. Move at a pace that feels good to you. This might be a little quicker than the pace of your breath. If you'd like to make this more dynamic, inhale, lift your chest, reach your arms up for the ceiling. As you come into the low lunge, exhale, fold towards your front leg as hips move back, arms return to the earth. You could do that a few more times, moving at the pace of your breath. Slowly step back into the child's pose, hips to heels. Inhale, lift up onto the knees, hands to hips. Step your left foot forward, coming into the low lunge. As you shift forward and backward in the low lunge to the hamstring stretch or runner's lunge, give yourself a chance to explore what feels best to you. Hands down, hands on front thigh, or possibly arms moving in space. Your pace can be a little faster than the speed of your breath, or you could slow down your movements and lengthen your breath. Inviting your presence, your attention into your body. 
and focusing on where you're feeling sensation and how these movements and shapes help you connect to that sensation and the present moment. As you finish the one you're on, return to the child's pose, knees to floor, hips to heels, spine resting on your legs. Inhale, table position, standing kneeling, step your right foot forward. Now turn to the long side of your mat. With your left knee on the floor, lean your torso towards the right knee and place your elbow on your right thigh. Sweep your left arm overhead and reach your left arm away from your left knee. Checking in with how this feels through the left waist. If there's any discomfort in your left shoulder, bring your left hand to your left hip. As you breathe here, focus on sending your breath into the left ribs and your left waist. And can you invite the breath to move more into your left side? Exhale, hands to the earth, back to the child's pose. Inhale, standing, kneeling, we'll do the second side. Left foot steps forward. The right foot turns to point towards the wall behind you as you are turning towards the long edge of your mat. Left elbow to left thigh right arm reaches up and overhead. If that's not appropriate for your shoulder, bring your right hand to your right hip. As you press down through your left heel, you can experiment with leaning a little bit more towards the left leg, inviting your body to root into the floor even as you direct your breath more into your right ribs and your right waist. Give yourself a chance to linger here. Exhale, return to the child's pose. Hips to heels, pause and take a breath there. And slowly roll onto your back. Have your knees bent and the soles of your feet on the floor and arms out to the side leg wings. Inhale, tip both knees to the right like windshield wipers. Exhale, return to center. And inhale, tip knees to left. Exhale, center. Do this a few times at your own pace. Head turns opposite of the knees and legs, inviting the spiral to move through your spine. With eyes open, you can track your gaze from hand to hand. Notice if you feel more inclined to have the eyes closed, that would be fine as well. What happens when you push a little bit more through the inner heel? You're invited to linger if and when it feels good to linger. Allowing your breath to move in that wave-like pattern. Interlace your hands behind your head with knees in center. Side bend towards the right, like a hammerhead shark or a crescent shape. Make your exhale back to center and inhale to the left. Exhale, return to center. As you go side to side on the waves of your breath, you could add the windshield wiper of the knees, sliding knees opposite of shoulders and head and upper back. As you tip knees to the right, shoulders, upper back move to the left. 
as you tip knees to left, shoulders and upper back move to right. You can think of this as like a sea anemone, moving in the wave and the tide of your breath. If it feels good to turn head and neck, you're invited to do so. Being curious about where there's stiffness or resistance and easing into the places that feel soft. Avoid moving into the hard edges, but instead ease gently towards them, inviting softening. The next time your upper back is to the right and your knees are to the left, pause there. Keeping shoulders and knees where they are, slowly turn your head to look towards one elbow. Slowly reverse your head and neck position and look to the other elbow. Do that one more time in each direction as you keep your shoulders and knees where they are. Slowly slide back to center and over to the other side, shoulders and head to the left, knees tip to the right, and gradually let the head turn slowly, looking to one elbow and then to the other, and repeating that one more time to each elbow. Noticing any differences between the two sides and the two ways of turning the head. Gradually return to center. Slowly return back to center and extend arms and legs coming to rest for a moment. Slide your right foot towards your inner left leg with right knee pointing out to the side. Straighten your right leg. Slide your left knee out to the side. Foot slides towards inner right leg. Straighten the left leg. Go side to side, moving quickly. As you go quickly side to side, feel the movement of the legs, of your hips. You can alternate one at a time on each side or do three to five on one side quickly and then three to five on the other side quickly. Pause. And slowly bend your right knee, setting right foot on the floor. As you push into your right foot, twist your right knee over your body to the left. Exhale, return to center. Keeping your right foot on the floor, inhale, hike your right hip, twist the right knee across. Exhale, return right hip to the floor, knee points towards ceiling. Continue this twist a few more times, emphasizing the push of your inner right foot and feeling how that lifts your hip and twists your torso and spine. Finish the one you're on and slowly return to the extended leg position known as Shavasana. Pause there for a few seconds noticing the difference between the two sides. As you scan under the surface of your skin, notice any warmth or tingling. And slowly start the second side. Bend your left knee, set sole of left foot on the floor. Push into your inner left foot and twist your left knee across the body, hiking left hip. Exhale, return to neutral. Inhale, push into left foot, twist left knee across. Exhale, return to neutral. As you do this a few more times, noticing the spiral and the pulse of your breath and the movement. A little bit can go a long way here. And it's not a big stretch or a strong movement. The magic is more in the repetition as you ease in towards where it might feel stiff and soften around the edges. A 
finishing the one you're on, extending both legs. Bend to knees, soles of feet onto the floor. Interlace your hands behind your head. Inhale, tilt, tailbone into the floor. Arc your ribs up towards the sky. Exhale, press low back to the floor and lift and curl up, almost like an old fashioned sit up, but much lower. Inhale, elbows to the floor, head and shoulders lower. Arc your ribs up towards the sky, tailbone tilts into the floor. Exhale, tailbone towards knees, lift and curl the elbows and head out. Do this a few more times. Pulsing this movement, opening on inhale, closing on exhalation. Feeling the way there's activation in the front as you exhale broadening in the front as you inhale. Pay particular attention to your diaphragm and where it meets your front ribs. Allow it to squeeze on your exhale, contracting. Inhale, widen. The next time you lift, twist both elbows towards one of your hips. Inhale, lower back to the center, elbows to the earth, front belly widens. Exhale, lift and twist to the other side. Do this a few times side to side. Noticing the twisting movement on your upper back and on the diaphragm in the front. Allow it to be slow and focus on the nuance, nuance of the movement. The next time you lift to one side, on your exhale, swoosh across to the other side and then lower down. Lift to the side you came down, swoosh to the other side and lower back down. And do that a few more times. Each time you lower down, lift up to that side Swoosh across to the other side and lower down. Now lift to the side where you just lowered. Allow this pattern to increase the length of your exhale, giving equal focus to your inhale. Finishing the one you're on. And slowly return back to the earth, arms by your sides, legs extend, Shavasana. As you pause for a couple seconds, drop your bones. And notice the effects in your belly and the front body, particularly through the diaphragm. Does it feel like you can take a smoother, longer breath? Bend your knees, place soles of feet on floor. Cross your right leg on top of your left. Bring your arms out to the sides. As you cross your legs, have your thighs touch from your hips to your knees. Inhale, tip both knees to the right. Exhale, return to center. Inhale, tip both knees to the right again. Exhale, return to center. Keeping the left foot on the floor, allow the right leg to tip you over using the weight of the leg to create a little traction and length. Feel free to linger if it feels good to linger or allow the movement to continue its slow pulse on your breath. Switch sides, uncrossing right leg, cross left leg on top, inhale, tip knees to left, exhale, return to center. 
Inhale, tip knees to left. Exhale, return to center. Inviting the left leg to create traction on right hip and waist. And taking your time, moving on the pace of your breath. Uncrossing the legs, bring the arms into a cactus shape. Inhale, tilt your tailbone into the floor and gently arc ribs a little towards the sky. Exhale, press low back to the floor and scoop your tailbone towards your knees. Like a wave, inhale, tailbone into earth, ribs arc. Exhale, tailbone towards your knees. Ribs scoop towards the floor, low back roots to the earth. As you inhale, feel your chin move in towards your chest, almost like a buoy moving on water. Exhale, feel your chin tip a little bit up towards the ceiling. Do this a few times as you continue the wave-like pattern of your breath. Imagine that your breath is moving you instead of your muscles, allowing the slow, gentle pattern to rock your spine. Allow this movement to come to its natural completion, taking as much time as you'd like. To finish your practice today, rest on your back with the lower legs resting on the seat of a chair or a couch. By supporting and lifting the feet and the knees, you can bring more ease to the low back and help to alleviate any strain or stress in your feet. I invite you to stay here for five to 15 minutes, allowing the shape to do the work for you. As you rest, bring your attention to your breath, noticing your diaphragm and your ribs. Does your breath feel softer and more free compared to when you began today? What other changes do you notice in your body? Any places of warmth or tingling? Notice feelings of pulsation? Gradually allow your bones to drop as you are supported. And allow this practice to support you as you move towards sleep this evening. And know that as you support others, you in turn are also supported. Thank you for joining me for practice today. It's been an honor.